I would fully expect it to reach reach the Supreme Court. I would fully expect it to reach reach the Supreme Court. But then there are other lives that have now been forever altered by their connection to Donald Trump in that time. Like the president of a swimming pool company, a police chaplain, a mixed martial arts fighter, they are all now accused of taking part in this criminal enterprise. Prosecutors claim that the corrupt organization that was reached not just from the Oval Office, but all the way to the former publicist of Kanye West, and even a bail bondsman who was caught on tape trying to access voting machines. I'm joined now by a pair of former federal prosecutors, Ellie Honig and Tamadaya Aganga Williams, who is also senior investigative counsel for the January 6th Congressional Committee and was maybe on air until 2 a.m. with me <laughs> last night. Ellie, let's start with you. I mean, if you look at the 19 people, one of those faces, Mark Meadows, is now already trying to get his case moved from the state court to a federal court. Obviously, that's something we're hearing Trump is also going to try to do. Do you think they'll be successful? It's an interesting and I think important gambit by Mark Meadows, and surely Donald Trump will follow. This body of law goes back to the early 1900s, and it basically says if somebody who was a federal official gets charged criminally by a state or county, as in a DA, then if the conduct relates to your job as a federal official, you can move over to federal court. I think we don't, I think it's a 50 50 chance if he succeeds, but if he does, here's what it means. It means, first of all, he gets a much better jury pool because instead of just drawing from Fulton County, which went 72 to 26 percent against Donald Trump, now you're drawing from the northern counties of Georgia, some of which went 60, 70 percent for Donald Trump. But more importantly, if you get into federal court, the next move, if they win, they're going to ask to dismiss on the basis of immunity. They're going to say, as federal officials, we're immune. That's how high the stakes are. But if Trump does that, if I, am I correct that if he got charged, it would still be state charges, not federal charges? Yes, it would be basically state charges. Even the state prosecutor picked up, moved across the street to the federal courthouse. I mean, obviously, this is something that they would try to potentially appeal. I mean, do you think this is something that could reach the Supreme Court? I would fully expect it to reach, reach the Supreme Court. I think here it is a novel issue, whether President Trump was acting under color of law here. Have you had any contact with the special counsel about overlap between these cases? And do you intend to try all of these defendants together? Do I intend to try the 19 defendants in this indictment together? Yes. And have you had any contact with the special counsel about the overlap between this indictment and the federal indictment? I'm not going to discuss our investigation at this time. I would fully expect it to reach, reach the Supreme Court. I would fully expect it to reach, reach the Supreme Court.